Gibraltarians are shopping more and more online as people are across the rest of the world. And the past few weeks have been especially busy for the staff here at the Royal Gibraltar Post Office, who are now working to clear a backlog of Christmas parcels. Black Friday started earlier, on the 25th of November, so we expected large volumes early this year. But um, up until Christmas Eve, we've been on top of it. It's worked very well up until now. Um, but there's a backlog. There's been a backlog of economy parcels and so on held up in the network. So now we're having this last minute rush of getting some of the economy parcels that were ordered for Christmas uh, processed and out to the customers. So, so when you say economy, you mean people who have paid the least possible amount for, for that um, delivery? Yes, exactly. When you buy something online, you have normally three options. You can have an express service, uh, like a, f a priority first class service, or the uh, economy service. The people that buy the economy go to the back of the queue. So we do, we do the mail in order. So at Christmas, it's very important that if you pay economy, you have to allow time mm -hmm. because they travel by ship and road rather than on the airlines. And we've seen sort of in some cases that uh, economy parcels um, are still sort of in the system yet to be delivered um, and they were sort of ordered in late November. Yes, that's true. Uh, we've got um, economy parcels from the US and Germany in particular that have only just turned up in between the Christmas break. Um, we have a pile down there now that we're working through. Um, but they were, some of them were ordered in November and they've come by ship from the US. They go, have to go via Madrid and it takes, it takes you know, four or five weeks to get here. It's, it's difficult, but up until Christmas Eve, we can only do what comes through the door, and we're on top of it. Then when we come back after Christmas, we have a bit of a shock of what we don't know what's going to come through the door at the last minute. And that's what's happened this year. We've had a big increase in between Christmas and New Year, and it's a lot of our clerical staff and a lot of other staff who have been sick or on holiday. And so the combination <laughs> makes it now a very difficult time in January. Sure. So um, what's the state of play at the moment? When do you expect to clear Christmas backlogs? Well, the economy service, it looks like we've now got the last of it. Um, we have, I'd say, about 50, 60 bags downstairs that we still have to open the economy mail. Um, we hope to have that done the next couple of days. And the notifications by this Friday, it should all be here. All the parcels and packets, you should receive your notification card by, say, Friday or Saturday this week. But the backlog is not at the post office here. It's, uh, we, we've been on top of it all of Christmas. It's just the network, the trucks, the planes can't cope with the sheer volume. Um, and it's not so much the post offices. A German post is very busy, but it, they, haven't, they clear it. But then it's still got to get through the airports. It's still got to get through the custom and border force agencies. And this all takes time. So if you ordered something online ahead of Christmas that hasn't yet arrived and you're expecting it to come via the Royal Gibraltar Post Office, with any luck the hard-working staff here will be delivering a slip to you in the next few days, inviting you to come by and collect it.